Hello everyone, my name is Hubert and welcome to Teach Me channel. Today we'll be looking at GCSE Biology, Health and Disease. So today we'll be looking at what health means, what disease means, and what type of diseases are there, the two main types of diseases, communicable diseases and non-communicable diseases, and how it all works together, because this is very important, how this all comes together, all these different interactions and things like that. So today, as you can see, I laid this out as a bit of a mind map, and uh, that, and I've, I think that will allow me to cover this the best way possible. So, without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, let's define health. What is the definition of health? Health is a state of physical and mental well-being, and that is very important. So, uh, in order to be considered truly healthy, one must be physically well, and one must be mentally well, and that's very important. So that's health. You cannot get health without both physical and mental well-being acting together. Okay, so if that's health, what is disease? Well, disease is a is a factor, it's a condition or a, or a factor that stops you from being healthy, that negatively impacts on one's health, on one's state of health, and that is disease. Now, Diseases divide into two different types. One big type of diseases is communicable diseases. Other big type of diseases is non-communicable diseases. So let's start with the left hand side here. Let's start with communicable diseases, okay? So what are communicable diseases? Communicable diseases are so-called infectious diseases, diseases which we can pass on from one one to another, which a human can pass on to another human, so a human can infect another human with it, or a animal that could infect another animal, or even a plant that could infect another plant, or even uh, between animals and humans, even animals passing on diseases to humans, those diseases would be called infectious diseases. Now, what are some examples of communicable diseases? Well, so communicable diseases, for example, malaria is a communicable disease. Uh, another example of communicable disease would be flu, uh, very simple flu. And a bit older example of communicable disease would be leprosy. So communicable diseases can be passed on from one to another and that's the main trait of those diseases. So the cause of communicable diseases, quite simply, the cause of communicable diseases are pathogens. Pathogens cause communicable diseases. That's the general term for microorganisms that can cause disease. So that do cause disease. So bacteria are possible pathogens. Many diseases are bacteria based. Uh, a lot of times when you have a sore, sore throat, that can be bacteria caused. Uh, viruses can cause many communicable diseases. For example, um, HIV virus causing the AIDS disease. is That's a viral disease that's communicable. And you can have parasites causing diseases, such as, for example, uh, plasmodia in... Um, Malaria. So these pathogens cause communicable diseases and communicable diseases are almost exclusively caused by pathogens. So what about the other type of disease? So what about non-communicable diseases? Well, non-communicable diseases, as the name suggests, are non-infectious diseases where you cannot pass on that disease. Uh, a human cannot simply pass on a non-communicable disease to another human, or animal to another animal, plant to another plant, uh, animal to human, whatever. You just simply cannot pass that disease from one organism to another. Those diseases uh, occur within an organism for different reasons than pathogens. They, they are 
well, I mean, there are some interactions which we'll go into in a second, but they are generally non-infectious. They are non-infectious and they are generally long-term. These diseases tend to last a long time and often do not have any straightforward cures or treatments. So, so what are some examples of non-communicable diseases? Well, cancer is one big example. You cannot uh, pass cancer on directly to another person or animal or or any, any anybody else for that matter. Diabetes is another important example. So what a person may have diabetes, but they cannot pass it on. And cancer and diabetes are both long-term diseases. So they both tick both boxes here. And uh, let me think of another type of a non-communicable disease. Um, how about uh, disease like uh, cleft palate or some other genetic disorders? These are, would also be considered non-communicable. You cannot pass uh, these conditions onto another person. So, those are uh, non-communicable diseases and they tend to have two sort of major causes. They have the nature, the genes that make up a person. A lot of diseases uh, are caused by uh, genetic uh, mistakes, uh, genetic uh, mutations. And another cause of those diseases are the so-called lifestyle factors. So various things such as smoking, diet and things as such can also directly cause a non-communicable disease. For example, diabetes can be type 2 diabetes can be caused by sedentary lifestyle and uh, and a bad diet essentially. So those are non-communicable diseases, but these diseases aren't quite as separated as we may have initially thought. So these diseases interact as I put down here. So, for example, one example where communicable diseases interact with non-communicable diseases would be in cancer, in a cervical cancer. There's a HPV virus that uh, increases the risk of a person getting a cervical cancer that actually is, uh, is involved in those processes that may lead to eventually to cancer. And in also uh, communicable diseases also may uh, act to exacerbate the non-communicable diseases. For example, um, for example, um, so let's let's look at it the other way around. So, for example, if uh, somebody has a non-communicable disease that causes them their immune system to be suppressed, so they are not their immune system is not working correctly and they are not able to fight off pathogens quite as efficiently as they should be. And because of their immune system being suppressed, that person may uh, contract a communicable disease that they wouldn't otherwise if their immune system was healthy. So here you can see how communicable diseases can interact with non-communicable diseases and vice versa. Non-communicable diseases can interact to exacerbate communicable disease problems. So this is important, how these diseases work together, how our body essentially is a one big uh, system, uh, one big system that contains uh, lots of smaller systems at varying scales and how it all comes together. And if you affect one part of our body, this actually may have widespread effect on different parts of our body. So the final thing to discuss here is that uh, both communicable and non-communicable diseases can be affected by life factors that, so I call, so various lifestyle choices and your environment that may increase or decrease the risk of contracting certain diseases. So, for example, uh, the non-communicable disease of scurvy, which is what uh, sailors in old times would often get, and scurvy essentially is a bad, a bad deficiency of vitamin C. And it's non-communicable because it's just deficiency of vitamin C. So if one person has healthy... Uh, intake of vitamin C and other persons very, very quite deficient, then uh, 
they cannot pass on the scurvy to the person with the uh, normal vitamin C intake. So, for example, scurvy is affected by life factors. So, for, like I said, sailors often in old times would get scurvy because they wouldn't have access to food that's rich in vitamin C. And unfortunately, they would get vitamin C deficiency, which would lead to scurvy. So, these, uh, so that's how non-communicable disease could be affected by life factors. Or, for example, obesity and smoking both increase the risk of somebody getting uh, cancer. That doesn't mean that they will get cancer, but it increases the risk of them getting cancer. And, uh, and the same for communicable diseases. So, for example, lots of sort of vitamin deficiencies can lead to a weaker immune system, which will make it more difficult for a body to fight communicable diseases caused by pathogens such as bacteria, viruses, and parasites. So, as you can see, how everything here is linked together, how the lifestyle, how the genetics of an individual and also how the different disease types, how they all mesh together to affect our overall uh, state of health. So this is it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope this video uh, helped you. If you think this video helped you, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this uh, about GCSE biology, chemistry and uh, physics as well as maths and some university level biomedical science videos. Don't be shy, hit the subscribe button below and thank you very much again for watching. I really appreciate this and see you next time.